So taking his question to uh, taking his answer to Naveen, Naveen, one of the very important <clears throat> quality an entrepreneur should have is not to give up, not to not to get bogged down, never say die, not always go, go with the solution. So these are the qualities in an entrepreneur. Now, 95, 95%, 90% of the, of, the, of the companies, of the startups fail in the first three or four years. Now, now <clears throat> when should they give up? A lot of times they would put mortgages and borrow and beg and steal and try to run the company. But uh, sometimes entrepreneurs fail to decide when should they give up and when should they let, let go. Uh, what's your comment on that? I suppose that is the billion dollar question, you know, <laughs> but uh, there, is a, there is something to be said about the grit. I think that's the word being used for the, the entrepreneurial spirit and the, the passion and the drive to not giving up. But yes, I would, I think, you know, something that Satish said, you know, it's basically, you know, uh, having that network of people that you can depend upon, whether it's, first of all, your customer that is telling you, you know, whether your product is the right fit or not, whether it's your conversations, you know, in, uh, in your attempt to raise, raise the money, you know, when you're trying to have these conversations. And, you know, there are, irrespective of where you are, you know, whether you are in North America or whether you are in India, you know, there is a you know, pretty uh, seasoned investor network. And these, these folks are actually willing to talk, you know, so you can simply go and you don't have to necessarily go and present your pitch deck, for, you know, or you can have uh, the, I mean, personally to me, you know, this is a great soundboard, you know, they can give you, you know, their, feedback based upon their experiences, based upon the other companies they have seen in the space. And they are good checkpoints to you and they will give you enough indicators, you know. And I think, you know, one of the philosophies that I have is that I you know we we as an individuals have to have something like a you know a third eye or a, and a you know basically a way uh, to watch over yourself. You know, so always evaluate yourself you know your company your work your employees you know you know from the eyes and ears of somebody else you know you being you have an, a third person perspective into your own actions you know where your company is headed you know what your clients are saying you know rather impartially and you know you would pick up the right signals you know and it'll come down to you know making the call based upon those signals you know do they amplify it together to compel you to continue forward or they are giving you, you know, mixed signals and the signals are mixed enough for you to basically rethink, reevaluate and start over. So that, that's a very important, important point. So you, uh, what Naveen is saying, you would pick up the signals, but I, I'm saying you should pick up the signals uh, of, of these customers and people around you, your product, your feedback, you should pick up the signals and then decide what's the way. What's the way.